guys, it's Amy with A2ZStamping.com. Today I'm going to make a uh, card using the Artistically Asian stamp set. This is kind of one of those stamp sets that I would overlook in the catalog, but then when I took a closer look, I really loved these sentiments, and the font is really cool too. Uh, it says, Faith is trusting God even when you don't understand His plan. Thanks for always being there for me. And friendship multiplies joy and divides sorrows. And then it has these um, three, I guess, floral, flower, whatever you want to call those. And then these um, symbols, Japanese symbols. I'm not sure what they mean, but anyway. If you if you know, let me know. But anyway, I'm going to be using this stamp set. And I'm going to be using this flower right here. And I'm going to be using uh, the thanks for always being there for me. So let's get started. All right. So... I think I'll do my stamping first. So I have this piece of, let's see, uh, this is very vanilla cardstock and it's cut at four, four and a quarter by two. And I'm just going to stamp that flower. I've got it right here. So this is a clear mount stamp, I'm doing this one, which means they, the stamps stick to our clear blocks. So again, it's a red rubber stamp. And I'm gonna be using dap dapper denim ink Okay, so I'm just going to ink it up. Looks all inked up there. I don't want to rock my stamp or anything because I don't want to get ink all over the red rubber. All right, and I'm just going to line this up best I can and press. Don't rock and lift. And look at that. It's perfect. Okay. Next, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And I have another piece of very vanilla cardstock here. I wrote my dimensions on the back. This one is one and three quarters by four. Looks like it's time for me to change my blade. Okay, and I'm just gonna stamp on this one. Let's see, make sure I don't have it upside down. There we go, so tap, 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 tap. And see, I can see that it's all inked up there. All right, and I just wanna stamp in this bottom right corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna line this up. Press, don't rock, and lift, perfect. Okay, so now I can close my ink pad and I'm going to grab my stamp and scrub here and clean off my so clean these okay see all clean dry all clean all right and these can be put away all right okay let's put our card together so I have my card base here is dapper denim cardstock and this is cut at 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half Got my bone folder. Okay, and that the that the, sorry guys can't even talk those dimensions so the card will open this way. All right, then I have a piece of designer series paper here. This is from the Eastern Palace designer series or the Eastern Palace suite. And I think this is called Eastern Palace. Anyway, it just it should say down here at the bottom, and this one's cut at three and a quarter by four. All right, so I'm just going to grab my snail and put that on here. This paper is really pretty. Can you see how it's gold foil? Like that. Just gold foil and dapper denim. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And then I'm going to take this one that we stamped our sentiment on. And that one's going to go right up here. Okay. Looks like I'm a little too far that way. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I have one more piece of dapper denim cardstock. Let's see, can, did I write the dimensions on here? This one's cut at four by two and a quarter. It's just to mount this onto. But before I do that, I wanna take some ribbon. So right here, I've got the, what is this? Let's see what this is called. This is called the one quarter inch natural trim in gold. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little tiny piece and I want to wrap it around the top. Okay, that is a tiny piece. That's okay. I'll make it work. And I'm just going to grab some scotch tape here and I'm going to tape this down one and two. I cut that kind of small, but it'll work. So sometimes if I've got the scotch tape out, okay, that. That's kind of messy. If I've got the scotch tape out, I will just use it for my ribbon. Okay. And while it's upside down, I'm going to stick the adhesive on here. Okay. And this is going to go right onto here. 
like so. Okay, look, I got a little bit of my tape sticking up. There we go. And then I'll stick, oops, look at that, I'm out of adhesive. Okay, so I'll show you guys real quick. When you run out of adhesive, you just pull it apart like this. This part is the done part. This goes in the garbage. Grab a refill kit, pull it open. That all gets thrown away. This little piece of cardboard gets thrown away. And then this just snaps together like this. Okay, so. All right, and this goes on just like this. Okay, this is gonna go right here, just right next to my sentiment. Let's see, let's go about right here. I didn't leave myself much room, but that's okay, it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit more of the ribbon, and I wanna tie a bow at the top. This is way more ribbon than I need, but if you watch my videos a lot, you know I'm terrible at tying bows, so I use a ton of, I give myself a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go around. Okay, this actually might not be too bad. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna trim my ends, trim and trim. All right, and there we go. There's my card, isn't that sweet? Okay, and here's one I did earlier. Thanks for always being there for me. All right, you see that gold foil? It's really pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this card. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on Facebook. It's A2Z Stamping. A with the number two Z stamping and also um, you can subscribe to my newsletter and you can do that by going to a 2 zstampingstampinupnet subscribe to my newsletter and that's where um, you keep up with everything that's going on uh, with a2zstamping.com. All right thanks guys bye.